Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my space base. And what we're going to be doing today is talking about Eve Echoes because Eve Echoes is actually downloadable now. It is out. Now, the servers aren't turned on yet. They're going to turn on at 8 UTC on the 13th. That's probably about 20 hours from right when I'm recording this video here. Once that is out, you best believe I'm going to be streaming it the second it's out on Twitch on twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. You can catch me there. I'll have a link to that as well as more importantly, actually, I'll have a link to my Discord, which is a new Discord that I'm making today for Eve Echoes only. So if you're interested in Eve Echoes with no other garbage, it's gonna be for my corporation we'll be building. We're gonna do our very best to help out all the new players. We're gonna do mining, some of the fun PVE activity, and really just try to have a good time is what we're gonna focus on. So if that interests you, you feel free to join the Discord description or you can just subscribe to see more of my videos. What I'm gonna be doing to tell you today is I'm gonna be teaching you the difference between like Alpha and the Omega clones, which is basically the free to play or the pay to play characters. Uh, there's something in Eve Online which is what this game is based upon, it's basically the same game, only a mobile version and reset, is that there's something called the Magic 14, which are these skills you really wanna focus on when it comes to training first to get the best boost possible. And there's a few other little tips and tricks right in the beginning I'm gonna to need to explain to you so that you don't either waste resources, get scammed, or just straight up blow up. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video and do my best to get you guys ready for the Eve Echo launch. I'm, uh, I'm so excited for this, you guys have no idea. So let's go ahead and roll the intro. All right, so let's start with the most basic thing. To download it, it's gonna be in the Google Play Store or on iOS, it's available in both. It's called Eve Echoes. It's gonna look exactly like this. This is the game you wanna download, okay? Now, once you open the game up, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna say, hey, start, Eve Echoes, uh, and you're not gonna be able to play. You're gonna click on it, it's gonna sit there and load. It's not a glitch. The servers are currently off until 8 UTC, August 13th, okay? So as of the posting of this video, if it says this video was posted one day ago, then the video is all, my cat just tried, my baby kitten just tried to jump out my two-story window. There's a thing on it, so she can't, but uh, she full-on Superman dove into the, you know, the thing that keeps the bugs out and bounced off of it and did a backflip. Anyway, sorry, if the video has been out a day, then the servers are already open, okay, August 13th. Once the servers are open, there's definitely things that you're going to want to focus on first, which is the Magic 14, or AKA really just focusing down on a niche. We'll talk about more of that later, but what we need to talk about first is the decision are you gonna be free to play or pay to play? Now keep in mind the pay to play does have significant advantages and it is a monthly fee. This is not a gotcha game, so you will not be spending thousands of dollars unless you're, you know, doing illegal things through the black market elsewhere, you're on uh, other sites or something. That's not the type of stuff you wanna do in this game. Again, scamming is legal. As you go throughout this game, you're for sure gonna meet a bunch of people that attempt to scam you. Just try to ignore them. Remember, if you trade anything, it's probably gone. And don't fly a ship that you can't afford to lose because if it blows up, it's gone too. All right, that's a few basic tips. But the Alpha versus the Omega is something we really need to talk about. Now the Omega, you're gonna get a couple ships and a few items that we could talk about, but in all honesty, that's not really what you're paying for. What you're really paying for when it comes to the Omega versus Alpha is you're paying for a, well, two things. One, the ability to trade, like a full access to trading in the economy, because the Alpha is limited, I believe, to stop botting, whereas the Omega is obviously not limited. You can trade everything, but you also get additional skill points per hour. You level quicker, which is one of the most important things in this game when we start talking about the Magic 14, what that is, and et cetera. There's also a $30 pack you can pay that will right off the bat be a one-time fee to help you permanently increase your skill points per hour as well. Here's the actual new Omega clone login rewards as well. This is straight from their website. You get the return macro, parco stabilizer, some weapon operation skill chips, two ships, the outstanding pilot metal, which is really a cosmetic thing, and then medium jet stream decomposer. None of these really matter um, too much, too much, okay? It's really ships plus some skills to try to get these weapons to be usable, right? But keep in mind, this isn't all the skills you're gonna need. This is gonna give you some skills in what you choose, but it's not gonna give you a significant amount. Also. If you look here, these prototypes, 
Keep in mind that these prototypes are probably gonna be collector's items. You probably don't wanna take these when you log in and get these as a new player and go out running around with them because again, only fly what you can afford to lose and you only get one of these. Okay, now we need to talk about the uh, Magic 14. And what that is, is that's essentially the skills that you need to learn in order to be a good pilot in any ship that you pilot. Now, in EVE Echoes, it's gonna be different than in EVE Online. However, EVE Online has a pretty good breakdown of showing you exactly what it is you need. I'm gonna show that to you now. Now, keep in mind, it's gonna be a little different in EVE Echoes, but the, but the skills basically remain the same, okay? CPU management, power grid management, capacitor management. You see, basically, these are mechanics, hoe upgrade, shield management. These are general type of attributes that are based upon intelligence and mostly memory. For this reason, you want to do these first as these will work on almost any ship you work on. Hull upgrades will be important on any ship. CPU management will increase how many attachments you can have. Same deal with power grid management, capacitor management. Your pilot is the most important thing when it comes to EVE Echoes and you need to invest heavily in your pilot. So for that reason, the Magic 14 is essentially whatever the basic Jimro skills are that are optimal for every ship. For instance, if you go down one niche and say, I only want to do mining, so I'm just gonna learn the mining lasers, the mining this, whatever, eventually, as you upgrade your ship, your mining ship and get to bigger and better ships, those original Magic 14 skills, which I'll show you one more time here, these skills will still be important for that. You're gonna need CPU management. And you may think, I'm not gonna need shields. I'm not gonna need shield repair or longer range targeting. I'm a miner. Well, you're probably going to need to be able to defend against people who do have those type of things and do have these new prototype ships. You really do want to be careful in this game that you don't waste your time and effort because the most important thing in this game, other than the golden rule of don't fly something you can't afford to lose and, uh, you know, avoid local scams. <laughs> Those are kind of the, the gimmicks that people always say. Other than that, the most important thing is you really don't want to waste your training time. You want to put your character on the right path early on. So what I would recommend doing is figure out what it is you really want to do. Are, are you a role player? Are you gonna be playing just for fun? Maybe you wanna be a pirate role player and you're just gonna be the guy who goes around and you know picks off a kill here and there and blows up and you just have some fun at it. Okay, work on the basic 14 or the basic skills in EVE Echoes. We don't know you know quite yet all the skills. I'm gonna see when it comes out. I wasn't able to partake in the beta, so I don't have footage to show you guys of that, but I will, it's less than 24 hours out and we'll know and we'll have better videos on this. But the, the shield operation, the shield management, long range targeting, all of those are crucial for pirates, but it's also crucial for mining and stuff, right? So if you wanna be a role player, maybe go heavier on shield management, targeting, you know, weapon use, things like that. Then if you were gonna be a miner, you probably wanna go heavier on things like, you know, the, the defensive type of stuff. The other thing is when you focus on your skills and you get the 14, you know, not all the way done, but you get this, you know, the, the mechanics, the shield, CPU management, power management, you know, warping, you get all kind of the basics out of the way. The game really starts to open up and you can start telling people, look, I have these basic skills. I would love to be a defensive pilot for you while you go mining, or I would like to be the miner or heck, let's go with a, you know, a carrier and I'll be a fighter and I'll go with you guys. And you know, with the bigger ships, or you could go do some PVP battles. Once you really start getting the basic skills in, the game starts to get more enjoyable. Keep in mind, again, the $30 purchase in the beginning is gonna be one of the best purchases you can make. If you're planning to spend any money at all, do it all. So if you're planning to spend money, um, if you're like, I want, I'm gonna spend, you know, the five, 10, 15, whatever. If you're gonna do that, I highly recommend doing it all and spending the 30 bucks also, because it's a permanent one-time purchase and it's gonna be permanent skill point gain. I, I really, really, really think that in this game, the most important thing is the skills. In fact, I don't even think that that's just me saying that. Uh, it's, it's obvious. I mean, there's a reason people make five or six accounts. That way they can have like, five miners going with the one guy that's their main guy. There's a lot of reasons why skills are important in this game because you can only train a certain amount of skill points per hour. So if you are training, let's see, for mining, right? That's gonna take a week or something to train that guy. And you're like, well, I also wanna do pirating or I need a guy to defend me when I don't have a buddy. You make a second account, okay? Now I wouldn't recommend 
spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on multiple accounts, but I would recommend if you are going to spend any money at all, in the beginning, get all of the packs would be my heavy recommendation. But keep in mind too, that this game is what you make it. It's a sandbox, meaning you can play free to play, just role play, pretend to be somebody, just drive around, talk to people. This game is as much a social game as a combat game, as it is a PVE game, a mining game, a single player RPG. I mean, it is kind of everything built into one because all it is is a bunch of planets, resources, things to do, and people that make the entertainment. So for that reason, if you don't want to spend any money and you're thinking, oh, I can't play this game without spending money, just don't spend money. Don't spend any, you, you can still enjoy the game just as much, but in a different way, okay? So if you are wondering if this game's free to play friendly, friendly, no. Friendly, no, but it's playable, okay? And the reason it's not friendly is not because of the game structure. The game structure is fine for free to play. You can still play just fine. The reason it's not friendly is because the other players out there will be stronger than you. And I guarantee you, if you are not in a high security area, you will be destroyed. Now, that doesn't mean you have to keep up with all the other players because you're never going to. There's going to be huge corporations, thousands of people. Reddit has, you know, massive corporations and all that. You're never ever gonna beat those people because they have infinite supplies with infinite people and you're just always gonna get crushed, okay? But as a single player, as a single player, if, if you can find the niche that you really will enjoy, then I would stick heavy into that and that's what you invest your skill points in, your money, whatever it is, okay? You figure out that niche in the game that you're gonna enjoy. And we'll talk more about that in other videos because this video is gonna get a little long here as we kind of talk of all things Eve Echoes. And what I'll do in the next one here is I'll break down the different gameplay styles. So I'll talk about mining and pirating and the different things you can do in Eve Echoes. I wanted to get one video out there just to talk about kind of the basics and uh, notify people it's coming out as well, as well as people have been asking me if it's worth it to spend money on the Alpha versus the Omegas that's coming out and kind of the first things to focus your skills on. So there's a little bit of basic information. Go ahead and join the Discord as I do have have tools available uh, in that Discord, which I'll put again at the top of the description, where you can look and see the different ships that will fit with different pieces. There's uh, different websites that can help you all calculate things, ship experience and all that stuff. So if you wanna see any of that information, I have that all in my uh, DMs Eve Echo Discord, and you're welcome to have that. So I love you all, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more Eve uh, Echo's information, and I'll see you on the next one.